My name is Professor Max Feely and I'm a consultant hip surgeon based at the Spire in Manchester and I specialise in young patients with hip disease uh, as well as older patients with arthritis using robotic hip replacements. So the MAKO is a robot that assists us to do hip replacements and it works by using a CT scan which gives us a pinpoint accurate information about the patient's own native hip and also where we're going to put the implants. So often a patient will be referred to us with a history of hip pain. Uh, they may have seen their GP or their physiotherapist beforehand. That's the point then we'll start to talk about hip replacements in general and in particular about robotic assisted hip replacements. Then the next step is to have a CT scan. That will image them from the pelvis down to the knee. Uh, those images will then be transferred to the US and be processed. And then using the finished product, we can then do a detailed personalised plan for their surgery. So on the day of surgery, the patient will come into the hospital, will go through their operation again and go over the consent once more. Um, and then as they're being get, got ready for the surgery, having their anaesthetic, uh, myself and the MAKO technician will go through their preoperative plan uh, and ensure that we've got the right components and we know exactly what we're planning to do. So the basic principles of the surgery are much the same as a normal hip replacement, aside from some small differences. At the very beginning we put some little pins in the pelvis and that allows the, the Mako robot to see where the pelvis is and where the hip is. Then once we're inside the joint we take some reference points around both the socket and the femoral head. Uh, we then prepare the cup for the hip uh, as per the surgical plan and then once that's done and we're happy we then implant uh, the cup into the position that we want to. Um, once that's finished we then prepare the thigh bone or the femur uh, by placing the, uh, the stem into position. The advantage of MAKO is it allows you to be extremely precise about where you put the implants. Get perfect leg length afterwards, you can get perfect position of the cup or the stem so that it feels more natural to the patient uh, and hopefully it will reduce wear and mean that the implant can last longer. The minute surgery is finished, they'll go into recovery. They'll be there for a short period of time. Very quickly, they'll transfer back to the ward where they'll often see their family. So physiotherapy is an essential part of the recovery post-surgery. Once the operation's done, later on that day, our physios will get them up and about, get them to start walking with the use of a frame. And even after one to two weeks, we plan to get them on an exercise bike or even a cross trainer. And we use a lot of hydrotherapy as well as a device called an Alter G, uh, which can often get them moving or even running. Once they go home, they're often on crutches somewhere between two and four weeks, and they can slowly come off those crutches. Uh, they'll start to improve their muscle strength and their flexibility, but they'll actually carry on improving up to about 10 months. This hospital is a fantastic facility. It opened uh, in 2017. It's got state-of-the-art equipment and theatres. MAKO is, a, is an expensive piece of equipment, but it allows us to, to deliver high-quality care here in the UK. Uh, and the feedback we have from patients is outstanding. <laughs>